take a look at the video while we're farming and uh, and watching the game. Now, this is something a lot of people have asked me to watch for a while, and I think that it's about time that we do it. Now, this video is, uh, I haven't seen it before, but uh, it seems like it's uh, going to be pretty funny, right? All right, let's go. Very serious business. Let me go ahead and pause this here. I don't know what this is about at all. I have no idea. Hmm. Okay. Let's take a look at it and let's watch. This video is sponsored by Raid, Raid Shadow, Shadow Legends. Legends. The mm. fuck? Business. Okay. Is important. That's good. Business is professional. Yes. Business is no, the engine not in the car on the road that drives us forward to our journey. Uh, there is no okay. I in business. Welcome to the seminar. Wait a second. Serious business. Okay. 101. Sounds good. First slide, please. Agile Alliance. It's August 6th, 2013, okay. and we're at a conference in Nashville, Tennessee. It's a nice place. Agile 2013. All right. What's agile? Well, it's blah, 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 blah. That bit's not terribly okay. important. What matters is that this is a very professional environment. Okay. Keynotes, panels, yeah. networking. You're fascinating to talk to. And a quirky little idea. Interactive display boards. Oh, what? Five of these placed <laughs> across the convention grounds. The fuck? In lobbies, the cafeteria, gathering grounds. Okay. And there's a brilliant innovation to go with them. Incredible. An automatic Twitter feed. Simply use the hashtag Agile2013 and your unmoderated message will appear on the board. It even what displays could go wrong with that? What an amazing idea, you guys. That's a great idea, and dude. people I... were loving it. That's such Giving a good feedback, idea. Wow. Showing their pride. It was all going great. Okay, yeah. For what a whole 87 minutes. When one attendee had a very unprofessional idea. What? He takes a photo of one of the displays and posts it to a certain message board with the following text. Hello, B. I come to you in a time of great need. Oh, Five no. giant screens. Ridiculous avatars, gore, and trap imagery would be much appreciated. Wow. Okay. Please. I, I don't know why I'm surprised by this at all. Well, we'd better test this out. This is a notorious so hacker 4chan at work again. Wrote something dumb with the hashtag Agile2013 and hit send. A minute later, mm -hmm. a new photo comes up on the message board. Yeah. Confirmation. <laughs> so there was everyone enjoying the conference. When suddenly, where in this convention do I find the Zimmerman themed butt plugs? My daddy never had big man talk with me. How do I make baby? I want baby. And from there, it escalated. There's a guy having concerning sex with a team. dead person. <laughs> Maybe you should find me. Is there I will only let good you have some ass. Concerning team fire. Fire. Hey, What's up? Should be a good for making electronics. Now it didn't take long for agile organizers oh, no. to notice. Agile Alliance does not approve of the misuse of the hashtag. Oh and here God. was the fatal. They don't approve. Oh, don't use our hashtag in the wrong way. Mistake. They thought it's only like three trolls from Twitter. It's yeah. no problem. So they rallied their troops, telling yeah. them to fight back with the report spam function. It's a good idea. Well, said B. If they want war, we'll give them war. And honestly, they took it too far. Yeah. They started posting increasingly reprehensible stuff on the timeline, to the point where all of the other attendees were drowned out by a deluge of horrific images. Their reporting was slow and ineffective against people making alt accounts. So with each passing minute, they were losing more ground. A couple of agile attendees stuck their heads... So imagine this. Imagine being part of like a software company or a company that's supposed to operate in an online space and sell a product and you go to their convention and you realize that they thought it was a good idea to have a live Twitter feed on a massive fucking 60 inch screen that you can't get rid of of all of the hashtags like immediately if I you want to talk about professional if I was a professional you know what I would do if I saw that I'd leave. Because there's no way that anybody that's that fucking stupid would make anything that I would want to spend any money on. 
And that's just a fucking fax. Turn the screen off? Well, yeah, they can't figure that out. No, you'd be so fucking stupid to buy anything from that kind of a dipshit, dude. It's up over the trenches and drew targeted fire. Looks like the feed is being spammed pretty badly. Maybe time to switch hashtags. I can't be the only one reporting all these people. Why doesn't Twitter make them go away? Lisa is giving free toss jobs at the main screen. <laughs> Flailing round. Of I'm blocking hey. and blocking, but they keep coming up. Yeah. Eventually, someone from B offered some useful advice. Okay. Have you tried getting the cyber police involved? Ooh. How do I contact the Consequences these cyber will police? never be the same. But tragically, the cyber police never came. Damn. Report them. Stop them, cried one of the organizers. But it was no use. And soon he was targeted too, with his profile and personal pictures shopped into compromising positions. Then those shops were, of course, posted back onto the Agile hashtag. Eventually, Agile had had enough. And they surrendered. Disabling the Agile 2013 hashtag. And that was the end. Guess it's over then. Or was it? Wait, because what? it turns out there was another functioning hashtag. Agile 2. And once B figured that out, they took to destroying that as well. <gasps> How would you be that and stupid? And that really was the end of it. Or was it? Because oh B God. found the host website. They went straight to the source. How can they uploading be that content dumb? Directly to the displays. Oh, I, I don't even and get it. And that really, really was the end. The next day, the only thing on the displays was this message. We are working on shutting down the Eventifier site. We are reporting abusive accounts. Yep. We are also trying to find all other sources and shut them down as well. I'm sorry. And that was the tragedy that befell the Gay Lord Ops. Very unprofessional, you Very. guys. Slide two, please. But first, airtime. Shadow Man here with Raid, Raid Shadow, Shadow Legends. Available now on iOS and Android. It's a totally okay. free RPG PvP DVD for people with ADHD, but don't take my word for it. Here's someone from IGN. Okay. <laughs> uh, Look how many positive reviews it has. In fact, Wait, how many I bought another phone with my sponsorship money so I can dual wield Raid. Raid. Oh, that's Shadow a good idea, leaves. yeah. Do you guys not have phones? Yeah. Dozens of oh, upgradable characters. Oh, jeez. Fleshed out storyline <laughs> with Wait, I love I how he halfway is making fun This is my one it. opportunity to say bad stuff about Shroud. I've watched almost every one of his videos. He'll never hear it because he always skips my fucking ads. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, he skips the ads! Shady lemon. Oh no! But don't take my word for it, here's someone from Qualcomm. Texting! Okay. Mom, I've been playing for two days straight and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Hey, wait, no, no, stop. Mom! <laughs> Look at this one. I use this champion because she has a massive co Are you playing a fucking console? Throw that in the trash, my dude. That's my it's dialysis machine. It's a very Your good phone idea. phone is the only dialysis machine you need. Giant boss fights, PvP battles, almost 10 million players. I'm... Are you playing yet? Get it with the code in the description and get 50k silver I... and a okay. free epic champion. What a twist! There's also big plans to update the game. Here's a robot for the next six months. All right, Green get the game. Shadow. I've been Shadow Man. Thank you. I feel like, I, I feel like the way he did that, it was just like, it was very clear. Like he gave a shit about it, you know, but he halfway made fun of the uh, of the product, right? And I think that in a way. For assholes like us that still watch videos like this on YouTube about 4chan exploits from 10 years ago, for assholes like us, you can't sell an asshole like us a product without making fun of it first. Like, yeah, go buy this thing. It's a piece of shit, but what the fuck else are you going to do with your money? You're like, ah, yeah, you're right, dude. All right, let me get three. You know, that's just the way it works. Right, where was I? McDonald's is a business. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. It's all mine. In they January never say of 2012, that. they had a brilliant never idea. Somebody that works Let us McDonald's. improve brand perception with Twitter. Yeah. Let us appeal to the common man with hashtag Meet the Farmers. Oh, no. A campaign that informs them that our meat only comes from local, independent producers. Okay. And not from, as the papers report, orphanages. So they published this promo. And I don't think I've ever gone to work a day in my life. <laughs> and success. Hell yeah, oh. lads. Another win as usual. People were loving it. How about that? How about that? That's great. 
they had their usual detractors, of course, but overall, good stuff. So they swapped out this hashtag with a new one, McDee's Stories. And here's where things... See, because it wasn't enough that it wasn't... The, 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 the correlation wasn't there. Because you had Meet the Farmers. Well, they don't give a fuck about the farmers. They give a fuck about making advertising and advertising their product through social, uh, you know, social stuff, right? That, that's the whole thing that they're into. And so uh, that, that's what it's all about. So after this didn't work, they wanted to change it a little bit uh, uh, up a little bit. Uh, this, is, this, is, this is brand logic right here, okay? This took a turn. They wanted the Twitter public to tell their experiences at McDonald's. Oh, I wonder how that's going to go. <laughs> Obviously, only good things ever happen. Oh, is McDonald's. that the Saskatchewan this sauce? This is going to be a slam dunk. Let us shake hands in confidence at our imminent success. That, that's a Rick and Morty Soon fan McD right there. Soon stories premiered on the Twitter homepage, and... Uh, within five minutes, it was clear that people weren't going to harp on about the time they got a free extra sauce with their yeah. McNuggets. Instead, they were going to tell... McHorror stories. <laughs> Here's just a select few. Story. A McFingernail in my fries. Bro, I found a fucking. I, I'll tell you guys something. I, I found a fucking uh, a, a used band aid in the uh, whenever I was a kid, in the the play area for McDonald's, and me and the other kids started throwing it at each other. <laughs> I was like trying to throw that shit in people's mouth, you know. Because, like, we're, like, fucking five, you know? Like, what else are we going to do? And I remember that. That's like the only thing I remember. I remember there was, like, that same fucking play area. My mom wouldn't buy me a McFlurry, and I almost cried about it. Because she's like, it's too much money. Just buy a fucking ice cream cone. And I'm like, Mom, I don't want an ice cream cone. If, I, if you buy me an ice cream cone, everybody's going to know that we're poor. And she's like, well, you know what, Zach? We are fucking poor. So here's 39 cents. Go get yourself a fucking ice cream cone. And there's no goddamn McFlurries. A woman McSoliciting McSex in the drive through lane. I looked this one up, by the way, it's true. Yeah. My friend claims that Ronald McDonald exposed himself to her as a child. Ah, uh, there's no Awful. way, dude. McRats in the it. buns. Oh, yikes, this one's real, too. Go back there in the bun area. Yeah. You're gonna find at least three racks stop. that got droppers on them. Oh, God, make it stop. Here's Someone thing, stop it right? now. It's like, but it was gaining. If you have to, if, if you have rats in, in the mcdonald's right i mean like if i saw a rat in a mcdonald's it would depend on where it is so like if it was in the kitchen i would probably just get a drink but if it's in the bathroom i mean fuck who cares like, yeah, just order me up some nuggets man i don't give a fuck right but like if it's yeah i just get a drink but if it's yeah, it's in the bathroom or in, like, the lobby. I don't know. Somebody could have brought that in. Who gives a fuck? That's fine. Traction. More and more people were publishing their yep. negative stories on the hashtag. Yeah. And once they had used all those up, it progressed to just making up stuff for shock value. Yeah, it's about story. I ate McDonald's as a kid, and I'm pretty sure that's why my father left. Closed eyes, sad face. Sorry, Dante. I once saw... <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> but that'll make anyone grimace. Thank you, thank you. Within two hours, they pulled down the advertising campaign and, in its stead, put up a far more innocuous little things hashtag. Well, I'm going to read this real quick. I want to read it. So many things in life bring us enjoyment. What are some of the little things in life that make your day? What do they expect people to say? Like McNuggets? I mean, do you really think that people are going to be like, oh, McNuggets make my day. I'm so happy McDonald's exists. I can't wait for McNuggets. Listen, dude. Yeah, your dick. Yeah, exactly, dude. Uh, I, I, I don't know. This is, seems like... There are so many brands that... I feel like they hire people to be social media uh, like coordinators based off of a resume that they've had for applying for jobs for the last 30 years. It's like, you know, 54-year-old David comes in, and David has been working at, you know, Pepsi-Cola for a while, and, you know, he doesn't respond to emails because he only uses his, his you know, fucking landline telephone. And, and David's sitting there trying to figure out how to use Twitter, and he comes up with this bullshit. 
They had a few minor trolls there too, but yeah, it quickly faded not into obscurity. Having AIDS. The media jumped on the story. Yep. Case studies were written, and lessons were learned about not giving the public an in. You don't want to have. You don't want to get the public involved with anything. Okay. People are fucking stupid. Here, here's a bit of advice for any brand. Okay. Is that if there's ever a point where the public can be involved with your advertising campaign and you don't have an opportunity or a way to vet everything that they're doing beforehand, your advertising campaign is going to fail. Period. That's it. It's going to fail. So it, it's going to be misused. It's going to fail. 100 fucking percent. And it seems like a lot of people really kind of realize, not always, yes, always. Uh, always, every single time, because it only takes a few dipshits to do something like this. I don't like how people bully McDonald's. I don't. I think it's unfair. The fact is that McDonald's doesn't suck any more dick than a dozen other fucking places that also suck dick. Like, so you go to McDonald's. There's people there that are borderline illiterate. Uh, there are college or high school dropouts, middle school dropouts. Uh, there's homeless people that are living in the bathroom. There's one homeless person that's sitting in the back, like, you know, because you have, like, the fucking tables, right? You have, like, one table, and he's, like, back there. There's the rest of the lobby there, but there's, like, one guy here, and he's got, like, a full fucking PC. <laughs> he's got a full fucking PC set up over there in the back of McDonald's using their Wi-Fi, and he's been living there for the past month and a half, you know? And all the fucking employees know him by name, and they don't want to get rid of him, because he's their best customer, right? Because he goes out there, he begs for money, comes back and spends it at the McDonald's. So it kind of works itself out. The fact is, yeah, Swifty, right, exactly, Swifty. I, I remember the story for that too. And uh, the, the fact is, like, McDonald's, like, you go to KFC, I've gone to KFC, and there have literally been people that are passed out on the floor under the fucking, uh, under the, the benches, right? Totally, like, I mean, it, it's not even a big deal. Like, it, it's really not. Like, what do I do about that? I'm like, oh, no, oh, no. You just walk around them. Like, does that make the chicken any worse? No, it doesn't matter. It's like a heroin addict passed out in the corner. It, it's still good chicken. Like, fucking, you know, I, I go to Chick-fil-A. Like, yeah, they want to, you know, uh, be, you know, they want me to be the godfather of their new son and then also join their church and they're going to give me $100 and a, you know, a pat on the back on the way out. Yeah, sure, that's nice. But at the end of the day... Where's the fucking chicken? McDonald's gets all this bad rap about being shitty, but Taco Bell and all of the other places are relatively just as shitty. They're all about the same. And it depends on where they are, right? So if you go to one of these places and it's in the middle of the fucking downtown or it's in a ghetto area in your goddamn, uh, in your goddamn city and you, like, there's a, there's a Wendy's. Let me tell you guys something. My Wendy's is a patrician Wendy's. A patrician Wendy's. Only people in suits go to this Wendy's. And me. No problems. But you go downtown. You go to this the, this, the Wendy's next to 6th Street. There's people sitting up on the roof of that Wendy's that have climbed up on the roof from the back of the fucking building. Drinking Hennessy. Sitting down there, fucking pouring their Frosties off of people. There's some goddamn motherfucking animals that are at that goddamn Wendy's, man. It's bad. It, it is bad. Yeah, sipping Henny, drinking fucking Frosties, man. Sipping Henny out at Wendy's. That, that's all it is. No, really. Like, if you're in Austin, go to the fucking Wendy's on Friday night. Go to the Wendy's on Friday night on 6th Street, and you will see what I mean. It depends on the Wendy's. It depends on the place. ATX represent, you're goddamn right. Or were they? Ha <laughs> he's already dead! July 1st, 2016. Uh -huh. Create your own custom burger on this McDonald's website. Oh, nice. On meat patty, semen. Name your creation. What? Have it published on the website. Then vote on the best one and it will become an official item on the How menu. How are they so stupid? You knew where this was gonna go. I knew where this was gonna go. How did McDonald's <laughs> not? <clears throat> A poem, if you will. Oh no! Oh the no! The sad European, a thin privilege to go. Yeah. Bag of lettuce, no <laughs> tissues. Mein Kampf, just so. I'm not laughing at that the one. Atheist I'm laughing delight, at the atheist uh, delight with the a side one. of fries. Uh, the toddler body delight. bag with double ketchup surprise. Okay. Pepe the sandwich, 
a rectal Cafe. prolapse, half baked. Rectal prolapse. How my behind daddy comes with a shake. Oh, it's great. Girth. The Aryan, a vision of Christ. A whole pineapple with your meal for ten times the price. <laughs> a tip for my lady. This one's gluten free. <laughs> it's still not too late to vote for Bernie. Whopper, no onions. <laughs> Anatomical oh, twins. Oh, 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 It's still not- Oh no, man. I wonder if you can get a refund on this one. Not too late to vote for Bernie. By Bernie S. Whopper, no onions. Anatomical yeah. sandwich. Just, just grow up, you guys. Yeah. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to shower off Ron's creamy surprise. Oh. <laughs> See, this, this is you, you f***ing clown. Yeah? Well, actually, yeah. I mean, yeah. Actually, yeah. Naturally, the press seized on it as much as the general yeah. public did, laughing at all the dumb sandwiches while also... And used it to make, what is this, racist burgers. The website was shut down and not just the general public did. They used it to make racist burgers. Can we be any more dishonest about this? I, I mean, really? Like, it's not a Nazi burger. It's just simply a burger, and somebody called it Hitler. Like, I mean... How the fuck do these articles exist? Laughing at all the dumb sandwiches while also condemning yeah, well, them. What guys, is it come like on, guys, this isn't funny. Come on. This is terrible. The website was shut down, and not much remains. Except for these. And also this text document I found, which has a bunch of other sandwich names. What ingredients were involved, and what they look like, though, you'll have to use wow. your imagination. Next slide, please. Shilri Prophylactics. Shilri Prison a Burger. Business. Let's say fuck. We'll read some of these. Ne uh, are there any of these that are bad? Okay, no. Uh, what was this? Uh, Mohinia Whopper. It's not mayo. Shilri Prison Burger. Real Burger Hours. Shrek Swamp. The Clinton Special. Next slide, please. <laughs> Oh my god. Prophylactics okay. are serious business. Let us shake hands in both a fun and safe oh, manner. Oh, I see this one is ribbed for my pleasure. Early 2013, Jurex launches a revolutionary new app. SOS condoms. Download, select the product, enter your location, and a condom will be delivered to you within an hour. Oh, perfect timing. Their emphasis was on discretion and anonymity when delivering the goods, and the delivery drivers were in disguise. Pizza delivery guy, police officer. I'm not sure that's legal. A gimmick to be sure. And some people thought it was an out of season April Fool's joke. What but people tried fuck? it out and it really worked. So they rolled the service out over the tip of Dubai, of all places. Isn't that illegal? But after its first week, the government shut it down, citing. I mean, it's gotta be, right? I mean, it's like, if there, I just assume that any, like, it's gotta be like illegal there. Somehow it's gotta be illegal. I, I don't even know. I. Uh, wow. It is promoting promiscuity. Uh -huh. Booted out, they had a tough time deciding where to launch That's next. That's not good at all. Guys, guys, let's let the audience decide with another online poll. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. So people jumped on the website and started voting. I will be voting for a Krispy Kreme donut place. Tens of oh, thousands geez. of votes were counted, <laughs> with some of the major contenders being Paris, Singapore, uh -huh. Kuala Lumpur, and London. From South Africa to move away from this. But all of them were outshined. With the most votes and counted Africa. for Batman, a small conservative Muslim city in Turkey. Let that be an object lesson in the dangers of tampering with the laws of Mother <laughs> Nature. The internet rejoiced. Of course. Another marketing campaign to add to the KD ratio. Wow. A Facebook post went out from SOS Condoms congratulating Batman and to stay tuned for more to come. Oh my god. But there was no more to come, so to speak. The campaign <laughs> was promptly stopped. SOS Condoms never opened in Batman. Yeah. SOS Condoms never opened anywhere ever again. That's a good idea. They went silent for months. Everyone moved on. SOS Condoms deleted their account. Good. And slipped forever away into obscurity. That's a really good idea. Pizza is serious business. Oh shit. DiGiorno does frozen pizza and they have a substantial social media presence. Domestic violence so, is bad. 
Wait. Bold what? statements only on this channel. Well, Twitter had a hashtag for National Domestic Violence Awareness. How does this have to do with pizza? People were sharing their harrowing stories with the hashtag why I stay. Why does this have to do with pizza? These were all quite serious and dealt with some delicate and sensitive issues. Then here comes DiGiorno, throwing on the accelerator, no fucks given, driving right through the front door. What? They had pizza. Okay, so in 2009, when it was still socially acceptable to be a psychopath on the internet, this would have been, people would have been completely okay with this, right? They would have been completely okay with this, but this is 2014. This is uh, 2014, the good, I remember the good old days too, where you could just fucking harass people and, you know, type the N word. Oh man. Yeah. Oh yeah. That, that's, that was 2009, but you know, 2014, you had, uh, you know, the social justice and everything like that. Uh, that kind of stuff obviously was pretty big at that time. So, uh, I I'm going to have a pretty good idea that, uh, they might delete this tweet. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is so bad. Like, I, like, wow. Ooh. Hee hee hee, that was a great tweet. That was good. I bet everyone is loving it. Yeah, I'm sure. Precisely 0 0.1 seconds after they posted it, uh -huh. they must have realized it wasn't the wisest move. Yeah. And they apologized, but the media got involved. So they kept apologizing. I'm sorry. They couldn't I'm sorry. stop I'm apologizing. Sorry. I'm sorry. It's not a big deal. Like, honestly, the guy was just, the guy, they didn't fucking get it. You know what I mean? Like, they, they didn't get the, the context of the hashtag. They just made a fucking tweet. It's not, it's not a, a big deal. Like, it, it's, it's bad, but like, it, it, it's really not a big deal. Like, they, they didn't get it. They misunderstood the context. They made a stupid tweet. They deleted it and apologized, right? Now, obviously, on, on, on Vox and all of these other media companies, that means that they need to go to jail forever. But let's be real. They just... I promise you never again. Kept I'm so sorry. At, it was terrible. They, I couldn't be more sorry. The, please accept my deepest dude, apologies. relax. I am sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Naming your baby is serious business. That's Rob. Put it to the internet, this Canadian couple said. Trust in the kindness and sensibility of strangers. It was Cthulhu Allspark. Next. Yep. Do you know what kerning is? It's important in print. It's essentially the proportional spacing between fonts. Mm -hmm. Why does it matter? It does. Well, sometimes two letters close to each other can look like a single letter. Oh, for God's sake. All right, stop. Let me finish up with a little bit of a behind the meme style history okay. lesson. In the early 2010s, uh -huh. brands were only just finding their foothold in social media. Yeah. They didn't quite understand how One to connect with their audience. The tendency was to be a bit overly formal, stuffy, yeah. not quite fun. Yeah. That is until Denny's came along with a game-changing Tumblr Hashtag account. Hashtag bacon? They started actually having a good time. And it appealed to fellow Zoomers. Too bad I myself. didn't have a good time at Denny's. It took a little while, but soon other brands yeah. cottoned on to the strategy. Arby's started posting memes. Wendy's like dropped a mixtape. Yep. And then went into a WWE style feud back and forth with Burger King and McDonald's. Yep. And Gen Zers, such as myself, lapped it up. How do you do, fellow kids? Now that's not to yeah, say they all bit. figured it out. Other brands attempted it too, but without committing fully, they failed to get the same appeal. Wow, what a surprise subway. I I See, I would make a Subway joke about that tweet, but then, you know, I'd be taking another vacation. I just got done with my first vacation on TwitchCon. I don't need another one. I can't do this. Wait, what? I can't do this anymore? Wait, what? Tr well, let me say one thing. Same. I haven't drank Sunny D since 1998. Thank God for that. 
Do I like, imagine like I, I I okay. So into the late twenty teens, things were going pretty great. Yeah. It was a little content renaissance. Chick-fil-A is officially America's favorite fast food restaurant. I know. Imagine if we opened on Sundays. Had to give everyone else, like Wendy's, a chance to make money. Your mom is a hoe. Steakums even broke down the whole phenomenon on Twitter and in articles. And I'd like to turn that into a full video soon. But with all these relatable memes floating around, people were starting to feel a little pandered to. Yeah. <laughs> Very relatable. Yes. Nice. That's, that's relatable. Yes. Yep, relatable. Hmm, relatable. Okay, everything's getting so fucking relatable, it's actually kind of annoying. Guys, we get it, you're relatable. I just, it just stop relating. Stop, stop, enough. I don't like it either. Just sell me a fucking hamburger. I don't want your jokes, I don't want your memes. I don't want your fucking pre-packaged, fucking focus-grouped uh, tweets out there. Uh, is this Yas meme with the cat acceptable? Uh, well, let's see about Bill. Let's have a focus group about it tomorrow at 3. And uh, we'll sit down and we'll look at the pros and cons. And then we'll tweet it out at 5. How about that? You know, like, no, man. This, this, I, 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 I fucking hate this, like, fake casual corporate bullshit. I do. I never liked it. That's it. I can't take it anymore. All right. Silence, yep. brand. And so a new meme was born. The spider crab with laser eyes, aerial font 32 point, white on black bar background, no shadow with text. Silence, comma, brand. And it was a very powerful tool. Eminem's pushing something or other. Take that yep. brand. Yep. Hey, fellow Gen Zers. Silence, Brad. Ah! And it became a long and enduring meme. OMG, I feel that. That is such a mood. Relatable AF. Silence. Sometimes a few brands could crack through it. Silence, Twitter. But for the most part, this crab has become the quality control of Twitter. An apex predator shutting down lesser brands. God bless it. Relatability is gone. All right, it's time to stop. That's enough business for today. Thank you for attending. Wait, my is that him? Seminar. That's him. Here are the patrons. Thank you very much. I love. Mwah. Mwah. See you at movie night. Mwah. Also, uh, I have other videos on the second channel. Sonic cried a little, and Tails put his hand under his face to catch the tears. The chef should have dipped some on his finger and then insisted that the host. <laughs> <laughs> and also, Shadow Raid Legions okay. on the Nintendo right, GameCube. That's great. It's actually really fun to play while you're watching telly. Oh, I want to watch the Use Tony Blink. 2012 one. We need to watch that at some point. You guys need to remind me, remember me to watch that. Like I that that the Coney 2012. We need to watch. No, no, we can't watch it now, bro. I got people waiting to do MC. I don't have time to fucking watch this shit all day, dude. I know people are fucking busy. They gotta get shit done. Like we can't we can't have all day doing this. As much as I love to watch the videos, we gotta get the fucking work. All right. 